Hello and welcome to another episode of Crystal IT Services Making It Work For You. My name is Ben Hecht with Crystal IT and today I'm joined by Mike Camisso with Heritage. And uh, you know, guys, here on this show we usually discuss the importance of having sound IT security standards and practices in place. And aside from computers and servers and network equipment, you have the other big productivity maker or breaker in the office, which is your business machines and your workplace assistants. And I'm a big fan of the saying, you can always make more money, but you can never make more time. And if there's one thing in an office that halts productivity and wastes time more often than others, it's employees having issues with printing or the printers themselves. So today I'm joined by my good friend and trusted technology partner, Mike Camisso with Heritage, to discuss what sort of uh, things that you should be looking for in a uh, when searching for business systems, and why Mike and the Heritage consulting process is something that your business should not be operating without. Mike, thank you very much for joining us today. Ben, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Um, honored to be here. Um, and uh, yeah, you hit it right on the head. The office equipment can really make or break the efficiency in the office, um, and uh, you need the uh, you need the right rep. It it all starts with the rep. Um, there's a lot of good companies out there. There's a lot of good products. Um, they offer good service, um, but it really starts and and uh, and ends with the rep. Um, I came up with this hashtag. I wanted to be uh, you know I wanted something that represented myself and uh, you know um, was different. So the hashtag who's your rep, and then I added the HBS 2.0, but who's your rep? Just, uh, I want people to think, you know, who, who is my rep? A lot of companies don't even know who the rep are, who, who the rep is, um, but, but, you know, it gets them thinking, you know, is my rep doing everything possible for me and my business? So this acronym, I came with this acronym in customers because I firmly believe that everything begins and ends with customers. As salespeople, without them, without their loyalty and the relationship, we are nothing. Um, so you want to consult with them. Uh, you don't want to come off as a salesperson. You want to take that consultative approach. Show them you care about their business. Understand their goals. Again, showing you care about their business, asking the right questions. What do they want? What are they looking to get out of this? Strategize with them. This is huge. You want to build the deal together. Um, you don't want to tell them this is what they need for their office. You want to once you find out everything, you know, all their uh, all their needs and ask the right questions. You want to build it together, make recommendations, and go from there. Think of their needs, not yours. It goes without saying we are there for our customers. You want to think of their needs um, and and what's best for them, not what's best for your pocket. Offer the best solution for their business. You're there to win their business. You are not there to just replace my copy, your copier with my copier. It's twenty dollars less, and it has a better feeder. You want to put the best total solution in there for them. It goes without saying you want to meet them in person. This is not an over the phone uh, type of sale, and you can't hide behind email. Email is very, in, you know, can be misinterpreted anyway. But um, you want to show them that you're a real person and not just a, a voice. And every meeting with a handshake and a smile, always. Um, you want to solidify the opportunity and uh, you know the relationship with a handshake and, and smile. Show them that you're happy to be there. Remember to thank them for the opportunity. Guys, it's very hard what we do to find opportunities. Um, their, their time is very valuable, as is, as is yours. You want to thank them and let them know that you really appreciate them taking the time to meet with you. Separate yourselves from the comp competitors. Um, I just feel that if you if you follow these steps and uh, really make it about the customer, um, you're really going to separate yourselves from the comp competition, and the customer is going to remember you. Um, I always say at Heritage, I was taught by my manager Dave Nicastro a long time ago, um, go beyond the green button. These machines are not just copiers. So there's a lot of questions that ask, a lot of digging, and we have to figure out the who, what, and and whys of uh, print and scan. Uh, I'm a firm believer that if you don't take care of your customers, then somebody else will. Absolutely. Mike, you talk so much about the 360 assessment. Uh, tell everybody what that's all about. Yeah, this, this is key. Uh, this is a huge separator. Um, again, it, it, it's uh, they're going to remember you for this. They're going to ask you for this. We're, we're trying to take a snapshot for the customer's current situation and show them. If you're not measuring, you're not managing. Mm -hmm. A lot of A lot of customers think they know, and that's no disrespect to them, but a lot of things go behind the scenes and you want to show them um, what exactly is going on so, so we can uh, then measure it, control it, and manage it. Uh, 
So the 360 assessment, um, there's a few steps to this. We download it. We download a, uh, a quick app that gives us a lot of behind the scenes information about who's printing what, where it's coming from, volumes, where it's going. Um, but as you can see from the flyer, we actually map out the physical location. This gives the customer a very high level view of actually where the printers are. We tag them, we walk through, we actually physically touch them, um, we pull reads and, and um, configuration pages. We want them to physically see um, how their setup is because you know nobody ever gets that. Um, you know, we, we do these walkthroughs and we want to ask a lot of questions. We all want to talk to the decision makers. They're the ones signing, uh, you know, the, the opportunity, the deal, but they may not know what's going on in the trenches. The users, the people using the equipment every day, feeling that pain. You want to talk to them. You're going to uncover a lot of pain points um, that you can help the business owner. And they're going to be very impressed and thankful that you took the time to do that. Um, you want to constantly have your head on a swivel when you're walking through. Look for inefficiencies, look for, um, you know, just ways that you might be able to help them be more efficient. Take pictures if you have to. Mm -hmm. um, along with that, once you gather the information and, uh, you know, everything you think you need, you want to sit down with the customer and have a validation meeting. You have to show them, this is what I found. This is not a selling. This is not the time to sell. This is a time to show them what's going on in their environment because I'm pretty sure they don't, they don't have a really good uh, grasp, grasp on it. And you want to rec make recommendations, tell stories about what you've done with similar customers and ask them what they think and then ask to move to the next uh, level, which is putting together a proposal with the best solution for them. Well said, Mike. Uh, quite honestly, uh, what it sounds like is people should be always wondering what, not what's the price, but what's the process? Because when you have such a thorough process like this, you're able to take care of your customers on such a different level. And just so everybody knows, uh, Crystal IT, we love working with Mike and the team at Heritage because they are backed by the only major printing company in the world that's FedRAMP certified and able to meet a number of security standards and compliance needs that others cannot. Uh, my name is Ben Hecht. I'm with Christo IT Services. Joined today with uh, Mike Camisso from Heritage Business Solutions. Uh, thank you very much for joining, Mike. Good stuff. Uh, great having you. Thank you very much, Ben. Have a great day. You too. And if anybody has any questions, please reach out to Mike on the number on your screen or drop a comment in the box below.